terms of special revenue versus revolving funds, I just wanted to highlight what is the difference between those two. The special revenue fund, the, the big difference here is with the special revenue fund is the revenue coming in is isolated, is segregated to that special revenue fund, but it still requires an appropriation to spend from that, okay? So the legislative body has decided we're taking this fee, so let's say it's the transfer station, the fees at the transfer station, we're going to put those into a special revenue fund for the purpose of dealing with the expenses of the transfer station. If it's in the special revenue fund, it still has to go back to town meeting every year to appropriate that money out of the special revenue fund. All you've done is you've taken that revenue out of the general fund so it's no longer part of your general fund revenues, but it still has to have that appropriation by town meeting. The revolving fund, and the revolving funds are limited to certain, um, certain activities by statute. The revolving funds are really for those kinds of things that are hard to predict how much you're going to need. How many ambulance calls are you going to have where you're going to be charging ambulance fees? How much special detail are your police going to be doing? Those things can be hard to predict year to year to year. And that's why some of those um, categories or those um, you know, types of activities are in a revolving fund. Once you set up that revolving fund for special police detail, the idea is the police are going to do the special detail, they're going to get paid, and you're going to charge, let's say it's the vendor that's hiring them, and you're going to charge them a sufficient amount to cover not only the salaries, but the benefits, and, and maybe some overhead costs, and it's going to come in, it's going to cover all those costs, and it's, that fund is just going to keep going. And then you don't have to worry about appropriating every year for that because you don't know how much special detail you're going to need. An example I would use there, there was one town where they got hit very severely with the ice storm. They had public service in for about 18 months doing road work on all the trees that had all the damage from the ice storm and they wanted special police detail for that whole year and a half. Now that town never could have predicted the level of special detail, because remember special detail is being paid by somebody else. They couldn't have predicted that in their budget, how much time public service was gonna want for that special detail. So that's just a good example of where a revolving fund like that can be very beneficial from a budgetary standpoint. <clears throat> 